Whenever I think about Donna Noble, one of the first things I think about is this episode. Turn Left follows in the footsteps of Love and Monsters and Blink by being the Doctor Light episode for Series 4. Last time around, it was Companion Light with Midnight. What can let this story down is how there isn't a memorable monster that goes with it like the Absorbaloff or the Angels. What we get here is a beetle. The last time I got beetles in Doctor Who was in 1965. So, does not having a grand old monster mean that this is deemed for failure? Well, of course not. Midnight didn't even show us the alien. This is RTD as his best. This one manages to show us how bleak everything would be if we didn't have the Doctor around to save the day, all because Donna turned right instead of left. The story is filled with many hallmarks from the Doctor Donna era, including the Christmas star, adipose and atmos. I love the bit when I'm watching a Christmas movie on TV. So charming. Look, when you really think about it, the TV movie is a Christmas movie. My girlfriend said so. This is a reward to the loyal fans who were stuck with Doctor Who through the 10th Doctor era, while also being a cruel twist as Donna is put through hell. So many people die in this. Martha Jones, Sarah Jane and Torchwood are among the many who perish as events unfold in this alternate reality. Holy shit Russell, you really went all out with this one. The only hopes for humanity are Rose Tyler who travels between dimensions and Donna who is a conduit who can restore everything back to normal in the proper timeline by her stopping her younger self from turning right. I think that sounding more complicated than it needed to be. The best way to rectify this is just to watch this episode. Nice direction from Graham Harper, wonderful music by Murray Gold and a great proper return for Billy Piper as Rose Tyler after a few fleeting appearances throughout series 4. The real star of this episode though is Donna. Catherine Tate deserved an award for her performance in this. It's funny and heartbreaking even more so now knowing her true fate at the end of series 4. Of course, I have to give my shout outs to Jacqueline King as Sylvia. Her performance in the latter stages is just perfect. And lastly, the legendary Bernard Cribbins as Wilfred Mott. I love this man every time he's on screen. This scene in particular is so goddamn heartbreaking. Oh, and David has a few lines of dialogue here and there, and there's a callback to Bad Wolf at the end. Oh, is that it then? Well, for your information, that cliffhanger is one of the best, and what follows is something which is unforgettable for many, except for Donna Noble.